to set up the wing rib jig for wing rib number one and the root wing rib we need to change some parts so firstly we need to remove number 45 we need to remove number 43 We need to remove the spacer number ISS. There's a small spacer here that has to be removed. Then we place number 1S in place. And we place number 43S in place using the screws from the previous one. So now WR1S is set up. Now we move to WR4 to set that one up. Firstly we remove number 9, then we remove number 66, then we remove number 37A, number 37 B number 67 and number 10 now we remove the spacer plates I and G can be removed <coughs> now we replace number 9 with number 9S. We can put number 66 back in place. It's the same as the one before. We replace number 37 with number 37AS. We replace number 37B with number 37BS. We replace 67 which we removed earlier. And we replace number 10 with number 10S. Now WR4 is set up for the root and wing rib number one. For the root, wing rib and wing rib number one, we have to replace WR1L clamping plate and locating plate with WR1S clamping plate and locating plate. We take some screws and place it in here already. Make sure that that fits correctly in place. Like that. We do the same for fall. We have WR4L clamping plate and locating plate, which is replaced by WR4SL and WR4SL clamping and locating plate. These are placed here for wing grip number one and the root wing grip. How to make 
G, I and S. These are special elements required for wing rib number one and the root wing rib. In order to make these we have a stencil which is marked GS1. This is placed on the wood like that and using your pencil you can mark the special shapes and lengths that's required. Then you can write the number S1 and the arrow. You can draw that on a piece of wood like that. The same procedure is followed for the rest of the parts. They're all made in the same way using the various stencils that are given to you. For the root wing rib, wing rib number 5 and the wing tip wing rib, you have to place a reinforcing piece that holds the aileron carrier on these specific wing ribs. So in order to do that, we have to remove some elements in the wing rib jig. So we remove number 27. We remove number 52, we remove number 26, we remove the clamp, and we remove number 34. Now this part will fit inside like that. For the uh, wing tip and wing root wing ribs, they only have gussets on the one side of the wing rib. Where the gusset is not required on the right hand side of the rib, we use WR1R acrylic piece we place inside the wing rib jig like that for all the gussets we have a whole bunch of them we place them in all the gusset places and then you build the wing rib as per normal on top of that using the locating plate and the clamping plate with the gusset then on the outside where the gusset is not required on the inside but required on the outside you remove the acrylic and you remove the clamping plate and you place the gusset in there and you just clamp the wing rib together using the clamping plate for all the gussets. and uh, we have to make sure that all the components are correct for the standard wing rib configuration so for the standard wing rib configuration we need number 43 in place number 45 in place and there's a spacer 1SS that's under 45 but that's all in place and if we move to wing rib 4 uh, gusset number 4 we need uh, number 9 in place, we need a 37A in place, 37B in place 
and we need number 10 in place and we also need IS, the spacer IS and the spacer GS to be in place. 